When Okeze Ibiazu came into office in 2015, he was clear about what he intended to do. He was passionate and focused and went straight to business. He pulled out the big machines and literally unleashed them onto the Abia streets. And they roared to the delight of the citizens. In urban parlance, he hit the ground running. Over six years and over 180 good roads later, no one is in doubt that Okeze Piazu indeed had a plan up his sleeves. Abia State had been searching for a sustainable solution to the lingering challenge that hampered meaningful development, especially in Aba. The city of Aba, its commercial live wire, popularly dubbed the Japan of Africa and known for its craftsmanship in iron and leatherworks, had not enjoyed much coordinated support to assist entrepreneurs and SMEs within the city to make their businesses grow. The lack of infrastructure such as good roads, water resources, power and sanitary facilities had stunted the growth of the commercial hub. Saddled with this morass, Dr. Ipiazu made his campaign mantra simple. Make Abia State the premier destination for business and tourism in West Africa so that ultimately the lives of all in the Abia will be uplifted. How did Ipiazu intend to achieve this? By building sustainable economic development through private sector partnership, ease of doing business, world-class infrastructure, security of lives and property, and visionary leadership. His manifesto would evolve to become the winning blueprint by which his administration would operate. Okezie's blueprint is foisted on five pillars. Agriculture, commerce and industry, education, energy and SMEs, which will be enabled by five key drivers, infrastructure, ease of doing business, healthcare and logistics. But just how well has Ikeazu traveled on this cobbled road? Is he making progress? Over time, Okay, Ziyakiazu has shown he not only has a clear vision of how to bring about development that will impact on the people, but he also has a clear idea of his resource requirements in manpower, material, and time. This is exemplified in his grand project, the Ayimba Economic City. A framework for developing Ayimba Economic City, an iconic transformational project, has already been established definitive agreements between the federal and Abia state governments and the Ayimba Economic City Limited have been signed. The Economic City will be built with its independent inland port as well as airport while it will be constructed as a business hub, work, live, learn and play city. In addition, the city is expected to have independent 24-7 power supply from power substations to be constructed in the city. Abia State is in partnership with Rui Group, the largest textile manufacturer in China, as well as Geometric Power Company on the construction of the power plants for the city. At the second edition of the Africa Development Bank-led Africa Investment Forum held in South Africa in 2019, Governor Piazu secured a $430 million funding for the economic city. This was only a month after his pitch team defeated projects from Russia and Australia to claim the $25,000 funding, as well as partnership with the Charter Cities Institute. Uh, for the first time, Africa is uh, looking very futuristic, uh, trying to bring um, uh, money and investors together for conversations and deals. The federal government is also making its own equity contribution the $430 million funding secured by the governor at the Africa Investment Forum is being used to onboard the first phase of the project. The project is expected to create over 625,000 jobs over the next 10 years while gulping 
over 500 billion naira, that is $1.4 billion upon completion. The project will cover 9,300 acres spanning three local government areas, a 96 km 6 lane interstate road connecting Eiba Economic City to Obinze in Imo State to Akwaibo State, and an 8 km rail to connect the Orne Port to the inland port in Eiba Economic City are in the pipeline. The Aimba Economic City is part of Dr. Ipeazu's vision to actualize and aid the already present innovative manufacturing and entrepreneurial culture of the citizens of Abia State and the Southeast as a whole. Abia State is fostering the economic empowerment of citizens and creating access to global opportunities, proudly championing Made in Abba. Showcase events have been organized in key cities around the globe New York, Johannesburg, London, Lagos, and Abuja, promoting made in Abba products. Ipeazu's efforts have attracted patronage from the Nigerian Armed Forces and the Armed Forces of other African countries for made in Abba military gear. Massive production of essential clothing needs have been mobilized for medical workers, including reusable face masks during the peak of the global pandemic. As a result of this new Made in Abba initiative, over 5 billion naira has been added to the economy, with 10,000 direct and 100,000 ancillary jobs created within the scheme. Flowing from his dream, Dr. Ipiazu has set up the Abba Footwear Academy to train more artisans in the footwear trade. It is obvious that the Okezie Ikpeazu government has improved investment attractiveness. 25 blue chip investors have already signed up for business in Abia. Policy initiatives have been taken to support, set up, expand operations or resuscitate halted operations. These include an incubation hub for manufacturing, skills training and development encompassing the AIMBA automated shoe factory with capacity to export into the developed world, thus improving the value of the Naira. For this, 30 shoemakers were sent abroad for training. Key cluster developments including the manufacturing cluster which has the likes of Partisan Zogunis PZ. Within this destination, there are over 20 medium to large sized markets serving surrounding states and neighboring African nations. Golden Guinea Breweries is back in business, creating more job opportunities, and work on the Abad Dry Port has commenced. Then, there is a 40 million population surrounding Abba who easily can use factories and warehouses in Abba as their service points. The efforts of the Ipiazu administration have now seen SMEs competing for effectiveness. To create a thriving environment for such effectiveness, the Abia State Government has set up trade support systems including provision of tools and methodologies, performance management, training, ease of doing business, ensuring the business community is engaged in trade negotiations and networking. Already, there are 250,000 micro, small and medium enterprises in Abba, each employing four persons on the average and actively engaged in mostly the leather and garment industries. In terms of ease of doing business, Abia State is among the top five reformed business destinations, winning the esteemed Presidential Enabling Business Environment Council PEBEC Award in 2018. All these economic gains are because of Ipiazu's game plan, first preparing Abia State to function. For infrastructure, the government has improved access to key commercial areas with ongoing construction and rehabilitation of road networks. Over 180 road projects constructed with rigid pavement technology, one of the most expensive global road technologies with at least 20-year guarantee, includes completed construction and commission of Mporo Agriba Highway, Ezuku Road. Milverton Avenue, a transport hub for travellers to different parts of the country. Chisco Link Road. A new bridge at Okonoafia, Ohafia and another bridge at Umunu Oche have been realigned and powered with solar lighting. Then there are ongoing flood mitigation efforts in Abba, tackling perennial flooding. 
The Abia state government has also embarked on a Copia street lighting project which is expected to cover all local government areas of the state. In conjunction with Geometric Power Limited, the Aba Integrated Power Project, first independent power generation plant in Nigeria and first integrated power project, has already installed and code commissioned a 141 megawatt gas fired power plant with an additional 47 megawatt turbine to be installed as part of the investment to provide 24 7 electricity. It had also built a 27 km gas pipeline and built an electricity distribution utility with a ring fence distribution network covering the Aba industrial city and the surrounding communities. In the agricultural sector, Abia State has gone one step ahead by ensuring that it is ready to supply the right inputs. 7.5 million Tenera oil palm seedlings have been projected, 6 million have already been realized. The accelerated rice production initiative leveraging the Fadama 3 has resulted in five rice mills in Ofeme, Acha, Bende, Zuakoli, and Abam. Households in Nigeria today are enjoying Osikapa Abia. 10 hectares of cassava have been developed. Abia State boasts the presence of other export and import substitution opportunities, requiring capital and leveraging the emerging stable power supply and the entrepreneurial populace. To further realize its economic goals, Abia State has enhanced its human capital development. Government has resuscitated three Moribond Technical Schools to run a skills acquisition program. Already construction work has started at the permanent site of the Abia Polytechnic of Sisioma. Adequate support for the development of the National Directorate of Employment NDE ICT Skill Acquisition Center or CAK, has also been given. The center has commenced the training of youths and incentives for pioneer students have been provided. They will support the emerging ICT hub. So ardent is Ibiazu about the capacity of Abia State entrepreneurs to do good business that he has also set up the Aba Business School to ensure that as much in the Abia as possible are taught the right business management principles. Tutorials will be done in the mother tongue so that all in the Abia will be included. The state's education focal tripod of teachers, infrastructure, students is yielding results. Public school teachers have been retrained for effectiveness. Over 300 primary schools have been rebuilt and for model schools set up, while primary school pupils from basic 1 to 6 are fed for free. Basic education across the three zones in Abia State is free, while there is an all-inclusive scholarship scheme for tertiary education students. As a result, since 2015, Public school enrollment has increased from 141 to over 600,000. In secondary school education, Abia State is the best performing state in the country for the fifth year running at the West African Senior Secondary School Examinations. As God's own state, Abia is truly claiming its dictum through Dr. Okezi Piazu. With only two years to go towards the end of his tenure, the road to the realization of the blueprint of Ibiazu is still a long way off. But the underlying vision of creating equitable value for citizens is clear. The vision is not just about Dr. Okezi Ibiazu. It is about the collective progress and the delivery of democracy dividends for all. It therefore behoves on the entire Indiabia to totally key in to this vision, so that the gains of the Okeze Piazzo master plan can be built upon and the lofty goals earlier envisioned attained. Beyond this, Indiabia themselves need to match up to the level where they will utterly enjoy the newfound lease of life released to them by Piazzo's game plan. Albeit, it is certain that the Okeze Piazzo government is setting Abia on the right path to continue progress and the transformation of Abia State, which only true passion and visionary leadership can continue to drive. One thing is clear from all Ipiazu's scorecard, that Abia State is ready to deal. In other words, 
Abia is open for business. Marco Ganeu in the Abia.